Hello friends, we have another one of our Shot for Shot videos for you. This time I had the opportunity to play Birdwood Golf, which is recently redesigned by Davis Love and the Love Design team. And here we are on number one. They say the first hole is supposed to start off like a gentle handshake. And number one certainly does that at Birdwood. However, I made it more into a firm grip there, blocking it out to the right and hitting it onto this pine straw. So here I'm faced with just chipping it out and it just goes over that branch where I'd intended for it to go under. Left myself with about 40 yards there. Pitch this up to, eh, I think that ends up to be about eight feet or so uphill. Now I'm faced with this to try to save par, getting out into the round and that slides by. But anyway, started with the bogey, we're okay. I had driven a couple hours to get over there to make this tee time, so uh, it was a really great time being able to play with these guys. You'll get a look at them and I'll show you who they are. Number two is a par five. Hit that out to the right side. That bounces off of the hill. That's Joe, who you see there. Um, ball above my feet here, just choked down on a seven iron, hit it right. And thinking it was gonna draw, it did not, but was in an okay spot here, a little left of the cart path. and inside 100 yards for this pitch shot. Over there on the left, you can see Joe. Gary and Joe are both golf course raiders for golf week, and uh, they were taking a look at the course, so it was a lot of fun to be with them. And then um, Will Saunders, who is a VSGA board member and founder of RVA9, was the fourth. So it was a lot of fun to be able to play with them. I got a good read here off of Gary, who walks back there. He had rolled it down there first, and I got a good read off of his, so I was able to lag that down there and make a par. So plus one through two holes. Number three, I gave you the arrow here so that if you have the opportunity to play Birdwood, you know where to hit it. We had to ask the group behind us what to aim at. You're going to want to aim at that second tree out there. Hit a great drive. Left myself with an eight iron in here. Balance is overrated. And hit this back right just off of the green. And was able to hit a real nice chip down here just to, I don't know, probably a foot, foot and a half. And I was happy with that. So feeling okay right now about the game and tap that in for par get it to plus one through three and we did have a chance to talk to davis back when he was at belmont asked him a little bit about birdwood we took a course that uh, needed to be updated uh, some changes because of roads and buildings and we built a brand new golf course it looks like for an old university it looks like they've got an old school golf course that's been there for a long time we'll have more of that interview with davis coming up as well so plus one through three, and now we're on number four, pretty straight away. This does bend a little bit to the left as you get out there into the fairway, but I ended up going down the right side and leaving myself 190 or so from behind this bunker. Just did not hit this well. You can see me, I'm gonna look over here to ask the guys where the ball went. It ends up running down this hill to about six feet, which was a really uh, pleasant surprise. I did not think it was going to be there at all. And so grind it out over this and... Yes, I'll give you a little point here because because we're having a good time. And so I get it back to even through four holes. Number five, this is a beautiful hole. A lot of water to carry, uh, depending on the line that you take. I just hit a hybrid out there to the sort of that maple tree, it felt like, in the sort of left center of the fairway. Left myself with about 104 yards in. Caught this a little thin, didn't feel great about it, but it covers the water there on the right-hand side. Left myself with about 25 feet coming up the hill here. And how beautiful is this view, being able to look back over the water and into the mountains. So nice, it's such a beautiful time of year to be out there experiencing Birdwood. The course was in great shape. And this, yes, we'll give that a point. I don't normally behave like that, but this was a lot of fun and the guys were hollering and we were having a great time, uh, especially being able to give you a shot for shot. So to get it to one under through five was, was really cool hit a hybrid here off of number six just trying to put it out there into the fairway it's not a very long hole missed it a little bit right and come up over there by the bunker 
Thought I hit a nice shot, made a decent swing there with a 48 degree wedge and it hit and just went all the way to the back of the green. And this, I played this very much like I played the putt on number two and tried to be aggressive with it because it honestly on number two, it was not that fast coming back down the hill. But this, I was incorrect on this one and it goes racing about six feet by. And so I've got this here to save par and to stay at one under. No, just not 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 the not the right stroke for that. And so I'm back to even through through six. On seven, ace cam comes out. It's about 152, 154 up the hill a little bit. I hit a nine iron, just trying to make a good swing at it and get it back there. Gave it a long look. It was had a good line, but no ace. Comes up about pin high, a little off to the left, maybe 18 feet or so. So I have a chance here to get it back to, to one under. There, the mountains are just beautiful in the background. You can see some members of the UVA women's golf team playing behind us. And I'll just lag that down there. Really ended up missing a little bit low and tap that in for a par. So this is a great place for the UVA men's and women's golf teams to be able to play. Number eight here, I'm hitting a four iron because they told me the fairway runs out. So I'm like, okay, just hit a four iron, lay it back. I missed this a little bit right and it started to drift right of the tree. I ended up catching all of that four iron and end up down here in a just not good spot at all. It was really difficult to get the camera set up so that we could shoot this. And I just leave it in this stuff. Now, I want you to pay close attention to this shot and what happens here. Yes, I hit that ball off of the hosel. It hits a rock on the right and then bounces back to six feet in front of where I was before. Almost do the same thing and just on that second one, just get that up onto the green and give myself about five feet for bogey here. And so uh, that was, you know, not a lot of fun, but I'm happy that I had that on video and you can see kind of how a Matt Pacilli round of golf goes. And so I'll tap that in for double, you know, classic as to how I go when I get it under par at some point. Number nine was a long par three, and immediately we know that there's there's no ace here. That was a four iron that I hit almost over into number two fairway. I, I left myself with a long way in here, almost over to number two fairway. And so I pitched this up. This was not an easy pitch, came up just short. I had to have Gary hold the camera here because there's no level spot. Great camera work by Gary. Chip that up here to, I think this is four feet or so to try to make a bogey and sort of save the front nine. Knock that in to shoot three over through the front. Didn't shoot any video on the back. I wanted to focus a little bit more on my game. I probably should have ended up shooting video. It might have gone a little bit better. But big thanks to Will, Gary, and Joe for having me out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you soon.